Hi everybody, I'm Sister Perkins and it is Sunday, March 22nd. Let's get started with our singing time. For our first wiggle song, We Are Different, we are going to use a homemade instrument. So everybody go ahead and grab two boxes of macaroni. They will be your maracas today. Maybe next week when it's our last week to do this, I'll be able to do it right. For our next wiggle song, we'll be doing hinges. This is one of my favorites, so get ready to move all of your hinges with me. I'm all made of hinges because everything bends from the top of my neck way down to my ends. I'm hinges in front and I'm hinges in back, but I have to be hinges or else I would crack. Here's the fourth article of faith. Get ready to pitch lead with me. We believe that the first principles and ordinances are Second, repentance. Third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. Fourth, laying on of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. In Come Follow Me this week, there was a lot about missionary work and what they do to share the message of Jesus with the world. That is what they do. It is so exciting. So we are going to sing the song called To Serve, which is all about missionary work. I want you to listen for how missionaries bless the Lord's children. And guess what? We are all God's children on the earth. So I want you to see how do they bless everyone on the earth. Called to serve him, heavenly king of glory, chosen heir to witness for his name. Far and wide we tell the father's story, far and wide his love proclaim. Heinies! Onward, ever onward, as we glory in his name. Back. Onward, ever onward, as we glory in his Forward, pressing forward, as the triumph song we sing. God, our strength will be, press forward, ever called to serve our King. We're just doing the first verse, so we have to stop it. Did you hear? What do missionaries do to bless God's children? Tell your families right now. Since we've been talking about good examples who stood for the right and who dared to be true, I wanted to read you a story from the Book of Mormon Stories book. This is chapter 10, and it's about the prophet Jacob. Now, Jacob was Nephi's little brother, and he stood up to a guy named Sherem, and he definitely showed what was right. Before Nephi died, he gave the plates he had written on to his younger brother Jacob. 
Jacob was righteous. Nephi told Jacob to write the things that would help the people believe in Jesus Christ. Nephi gave Jacob the power to be a priest in the church and to teach the Nephites the word of God. After Nephi died, many of the Nephites became wicked. Jacob taught the people and told them to repent of the bad things they were doing. A wicked man named Sherem went among the Nephites, teaching them not to believe in Jesus Christ. Sherem told the people that there would be no Christ. Many people believed Sherem. Jacob taught the people to believe in Christ. Sherem wanted to argue with Jacob and persuade him that there would be no Christ. Jacob's faith in Jesus Christ could not be shaken. He had seen angels and had heard the Lord's voice. He knew Jesus would come. The Holy Ghost was with Jacob as he bore his testimony of Jesus Christ to Sherem. Sherem asked to see a sign. He wanted Jacob to prove there is a God. He wanted to see a miracle. Jacob would not ask God for a sign. He said Sherem already knew that what Jacob had taught was true. Jacob said if God struck Sherem, that would be a sign of God's power. Sherem immediately fell down. He could not get up for many days. Sherem was weak and knew he was going to die. He called the people together. He told them he had lied. He said they should believe in Jesus Christ. After Sherem finished talking to the people, he died. The people felt God's power and they fell to the ground. The people began to repent and read the scriptures. They lived in peace and love. Jacob was happy and knew that God had answered his prayers. So let's sing about how Jacob stood up to Sherem. He dared to do right, even though it, he could have been nervous, he could have been scared, he wasn't. He was steadfast and he was really brave in the way that he told him what was true. We're gonna sing this in a special way today. Both of these songs we've been working on, um, Stand for the Right and Dare to Do Right, can be put together to create what's called a medley. This is when you are singing two songs at the same time, but they sound good together. So we're going to start with Stand for the Right, and then it goes into Dare to Do Right, and then you get to pick the part when you see the screen split, which one you want to follow today. I forgot to tell you, if you want to do the actions that we learned last week when we we're singing the medley, if you want to sing the Dare to Do Right part, then see if you can get your uh, towel or a dish towel. And I'm going to use today this little swaddler blanket because I had a very smart musical friend say, that's pretty close to a scarf. It's a little light and airy. So let's see if we can do that together. Can do our prophets and pray. 
is. Actually, maybe you don't, but it's the books in the Book of Mormon. First and second books of Nephi, Jacob, Ebus, Jerem, Omni, words of Mormon, and Mosiah in the Book of Mormon. Alma, Helaman, third, fourth, Nephi, Mormon, Ether, and Moroni, learn the teachings of the prophets in the Book of Mormon. It only took me two takes this week. Our final song today is I Feel the Savior's Love. Do you know that? Do you know that Jesus loves you? Do you know how much he loves you? As you sing this song, I want you to focus on the feelings that you have in your heart. I feel my Savior's love in all the world around me. His Spirit warms my soul through everything I see. He knows I will follow Him, give all my life to Him. I feel my Savior's love, the love he freely gives me. Now, all my primary kids know that Sister Perkins just cries all the time. But I cry because I feel the Holy Ghost. Because I know that Heavenly Father loves me and Jesus loves me. I hope you have a great week this week.